Thermal Design presents the installation of the Simple Saver System. With over 25 years of experience, the Simple Saver system is not new to the industry. With the need for higher in-place R values, the system meets the demands of contractors and owners. This video has been made to show how fast and safe it is to install the Simple Saver system in existing pre-engineered metal buildings. It demonstrates the written installation instructions included with each order. Refer to Retrofit Construction Roof Details, figures 1 through 6, with these instructions. This tape shows steel erection techniques involving safety products. While all best efforts were used to show safe practices, this is not a safety training video. It is the responsibility of the erection contractor to provide safety training for all workers and comply with all federal, state, and local safety OSHA regulations. The basic concept of the system is to create a platform with tensioned steel straps, to slip a strong liner fabric into position on the platform, to insert pre-cut fiberglass insulation layers or blown insulation in the purlin cavities, and to seal the edges and fasten the liner system to the overlying structure with self-drilling fasteners. Tools required are screw guns, extension cords, 5 16 long shank magnetic nut setters, utility knives and blades, safety glasses, and 8 to 10 self-locking clamps. Lift equipment will be necessary to reach the structure. A snorkel basket, a JLG type lift with basket or scissors lift may be used. Scaffolding can also be used if no lift is available. Lifts operable from the basket allow installation process with one less crew member and will easily pay for itself in labor savings. Always use safety equipment required for compliance with current safety codes in your area. Open the package containing the packing list, project drawings, and installation instructions. Check to be sure all materials are included and are not damaged. If something is missing or damaged, contact Thermal Design at 1-800-255-0776. Assemble the strap dispenser by placing the unwrapped coil between the two plywood discs with the four bolts and wing nuts provided. Cut the packaging straps, which will allow the strapping to be pulled off of the coil. Insert a pipe through the center of the dispenser and place dispenser on an elevated platform that will allow it to turn freely. Now cut traverse straps the width of the building plus 3 feet. Install intermediate steel straps across each bay 24 inches to 30 inches on center and a strap about 1 inch from the rafter on each side of the bay by attaching the first end of strap to first eave strut, pulling hand tight and fastening at ridge purlin. Then pull hand tight and fasten second end to opposite eave strut. Remember to remove all twists before fastening. Go over and under attached items as the final installation dictates whether items are concealed or exposed. Unwrap and position the custom sized suspension fabric, usually one piece, between two purlins.
fasten one end of fabric to eave strut by backing out one fastener at a time. Pull fabric to wall line and replace fasteners into same holes penetrating fabric. Repeat process for all intermediate straps attached to eave strut. Fasten the fabric to the eave strut one strap at a time to ensure that the fabric remains square to the bay. Steel straps installed one inch from rafters are not used until insulation is pulled into cavity. Pull suspension fabric toward the ridge on the platform of steel straps. Pull fabric one purlins space at a time and install fasteners through each band and fabric into the purlins. Or it may be pulled several purlins spaces and attached at the furthest purlin. Then you must come back and install all the fasteners in between. Smooth out wrinkles and install balance of needed fasteners. Always install fasteners in center of purlin first, then go each way from the middle, pulling away from the middle to remove slack in the fabric and minimizing wrinkles as you fasten. Obstructions can be unfastened and refastened as you reach each purlin with the fabric. Proceed to position and fasten the fabric across the bay to the ridge purlin. Then, back out the intermediate fasteners at the ridge purlin attached in strap install step 3. Pull the fabric past the near ridge purlin, fasten, and then proceed to the next ridge purlin and repeat. Proceed to fasten fabric to other eave strut and fasten and seal the fabric to the eave strut. Pull the insulation into the purlin space with the aid of a rope and two boards clamped to the insulation. A rope can be fed through the cavity in several ways. One option is using a tape measure to feed rope through the cavity. Insulation bats can be installed as the fabric is pulled into place. Blow-in insulation may require modification to the strap pattern to accommodate insulation weight. After the installation is installed, pull the edge of suspension fabric to rafter and seal it to underside of top rafter flange, making sure the flange is clean. Fabric can be sealed by using either a two-sided tape or contact adhesive. Install fasteners at each purlin along the straps, positioned about one inch from the rafter. The rafter braces are installed using one of the recommended methods. Caulk or seal all edges, checking to ensure all fasteners are installed at each purlin. Wipe away any dust or dirt off the system and clean up the bay floor area. Gojo Hand Cleaner or WD-40 will remove fresh vapor barrier sealant. If you have any questions or need any additional materials, call Thermal Design at 1-800-255-0776.